Hi folks, today we are going to talk about the gimmicks, the things that make it really hard for you to buy a bed. Now, I not only work in bed stores, but I also build beds, and I understand them better than most people do because of my experience. But now, if I didn't have that understanding and my bed was horrible and it was 3 o'clock in the morning and I couldn't sleep, and one of these commercials come on that are so awesome, make these beds think that this is the answer to all your problems, I would think that God just spoke to me himself and told me, this is the bed that's going to fix my problems, all right? But it's easy to say that on television. The real world test comes when you sleep on it. And a lot of times those gimmicks really don't do what you expect. They fall real short. Now, gimmicks. Let's look at the first thing, one of my favorite things to talk about, and that is gel foam, okay? So let's picture a couple of years ago, a couple of marketing guys sitting in an office and their job is to find new ways to sell bets, okay? So one guy says, well, hey, you know, I got gel pads in my shoes and my wife's got a gel pad for a butter or office chair. Wait a minute, we've got this old memory foam that's cheap to make. Well, let's take some gel and put it in memory foam and call it the latest, greatest thing. And on TV, I'll be honest, it sounds great. But in the real world, it really doesn't do the job they say it's going to do. It's another one of those gimmicks to get you out and come on by bed. Pillow tops, same thing there. Air beds, that has got to be the biggest gimmick in our industry. Now, let's let's go past that fancy commercial for a minute and go to Walmart. And let's... Let's buy an air mattress for the for your company coming to your house. Now, when you pump that all the way up, they get pretty firm. But now, like, the selling technique for an air bed is you can make it softer or firmer. Now, let's look at that air bladder. We let some air out. We drop a rock in the middle, and what happens? That rock sinks and displaces that air away from the body. So now, the heaviest part of our bodies will sink and lose support. There is no structured support to air. And when air is hard in a compressed space, it's firm and creates pressure issues. So if you and your wife or you and your husband, one likes firm, one likes soft, that may seem like the right answer, but there's more to a bed than firm and soft. Support, pressure, temperature. There are so many gimmicks out there. There are so many great commercials. It's hard to wade through that. Now we go to the internet. We start looking for answers there. What I have found over the years I've done this is most of the information on the internet comes from mattress manufacturers. They're taking stuff like the egg crate foam you buy at Walmart, and now they're calling it comfort foam, so you don't know what you're buying. Now, I've taken apart a lot of beds over the years and looked at the inside. I'm going to scare you a little bit here. Your average $2,000 retail bed has about 80 bucks for the parts in it. So now, if you put value in what you're buying and the price you're paying for it right now, that's one thing. But me, when it comes to a bed, especially something that important, I look at value as how long that product is going to do the job it's supposed to. And when it comes to the gimmicks we see in retail, unfortunately, most people feel they're falling short. So, best advice, take your time. Again, be educated. Don't fall for the gimmicks. Find somebody who knows what they're talking about and ask the right questions. Thank you for your time today, folks, and I hope this helps. We'll talk again soon.